Saints, this is not going to take very long. Remember when the Lord told me, and I told you guys, that this false prophet that you see there, this person, this big person, okay, and I'm not being insulting, I'm just being factual. Remember when I told you that he was going to make a video um, in a few months. I told you this a few months back that he was going to make a video uh, with another theory as to why the rapture didn't happen. I mean, this guy doesn't give up. And then when you try to correct him, he will delete your comments like he did the one that I had up here. He doesn't give up. He will still keep making false prophecy after false prophecy after false prophecy. So I told you guys that in a few months, he was going to make yet another video theorizing why the rapture didn't happen. In this video, he says that he's got, he, he went from date setting. Okay, so when I told you about these false prophets, they will set a date, but you have to have ears to hear. He says in this video that he had a dream from the Lord that the reason why, um, he was given 2013 September is because the rapture was going to happen two years after September 2013. Okay, but then what about all of those crazy videos you put up saying that 2014 is the rapture, 2013 is the rapture, the rapture is imminent. So are you saying that those videos were a lie, Mr. Rody? Because Jesus Christ is not a liar. You are. Jesus Christ never told you anything. Because the word says no man knows the day nor the hour. Only the Father. That's it. You made those theories up. So I said to you guys that he was going to put up another video um, in a few months. Explaining why he uh, his, his last rapture date failed. And I'm going to show you proof of that. I'm going to go back to a video that he made from before, which is this one, three months ago. Look at the date. Three months. It was made. You could just look at it for yourself. You will find my uh, comment more than likely on here, assuming he didn't delete it. Okay, now I'm pretty bold when I speak about false prophets. Anyhow, this is what he said. This is what I told him. I said, you, sir, are not. I told him this two weeks ago, and I even told him this. I even made a video explaining to you guys that he was going to make another video in a few months, explain in a few months, theorizing why his later, why his rapture prophecy failed. Okay. I told him here, you are not in a false prophet. Told you after your false message, you would not. I told you after your false message, you would not upload one, because you are looking for another reason to date set. So in other words, I said right there that he was not, he was not going to upload a, a video until he had another theory in place as to why his prior false prophecies failed. Okay. Um, that's what I said in that sentence that he was not going to upload another video until he had a theory in place explaining why his, his, uh, prophecies failed here someone made a comment to him and he again doesn't accept correction he has a common jezebel spirit did you not say the rapture was going to happen in 2013 and they're 100 percent sure on it 2014 you came you said the same thing and you said it's really 2013 now we're in 2015 or is it still 2013 so um this guy has issues and forgive me for saying but i think he's nuts and I mean that in a loving manner because it is not normal, okay, to make video after video after video. It's like a routine for this guy. Two years in a row and his prophecies never come to pass. And you know that the word said if a prophet prophesies something, it doesn't come to pass. You know that that God never sent them. Well, God never sent this, this person who's obviously full of demons, Okay. You got some people here in these comments that I'm scrolling through that agree with him, some don't. But anyway, uh, this video right here, I told him he was going to make another video theorizing why his rapture theory failed. In this one, 
he prophesied the rapture was going to be April 2015. That came and went. Rapture never took place. In this other video, he's prophesying to you all that the rapture is going to take place in September 2015. And in fact, I told him three months ago that he was going to set another date. In this video that you just saw, I told him that you're not going to upload another video. And if you do, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, obviously, it was going to be another date set. This is how he tried to cover himself. He said that he's not date setting, but um, he understands why the rapture didn't happen because the Lord gave him a dream that in September 2013, it was going to be two years from that date. Don't you see, guys? He's setting a date again. Even though he's telling you he's not, he's lying. He's a liar. He's setting a date. He's telling you guys that the rapture is in 20. 15 of September. That's what he's saying to you guys. Now, um, ladies and gentlemen, I don't listen to people like this. I can't even stomach making it through two seconds of the video. So if you wish to watch this video, I'm not even going to play it. You can. But I just wanted to let you know that the Lord prophesied to me three months ago that he was going to make yet another video date setting again. And he did. In fact, let me play a clip for you. Hello, people of God. I believe I know for some time now what the Lord revealed to me in 2013. Don't fall for his false humility, ladies and gentlemen. When you're listening to people like this, you better wear the full armor of God because they're full of demons. Listen to this. Listen, but don't listen. Put your spiritual ears on and wear the full armor of God and be covered with the blood of the Lamb so you, don't, so you do not succumb to Satan's lies. I saw on the TV screen September 2013 and I heard a voice twice that mentioned this phrase, there is no time left, there is no time left. And uh, apparently last night they, they, there was a robbery uh, in my neighborhood, in, in the house across the street. And the alarm was sounding for hours and hours, and uh, it wasn't until today that I was taking a shower that the Lord spoke to me and said, sound the alarm, because I've known this uh, for a little while now. And um, the dream that I had, I had it the last day of August of 2013, um, between the last day of August of 2013 and, and September 1st, and the dream... Um, it was like I said, uh, there was a TV screen and it said real big September 2013 and these words were spoken out loud twice. There is no time left. There is no time left. And um, recently I was meditating on that. The Lord made me understand that was a two year warning from that September 2013. September 2013, there is no time left once. 2014, there is no time left twice. 2015, from September to September. In other words, uh, you have two years left. He's date setting, ladies and gentlemen. Now watch this. There is no time left. There is no time left. Two years. And um, it is not a... Um, coincidence that in September we have all these great events. Let's stop there. Let's test the spirit, shall we? He's claiming the Lord's telling him the rapture is September 2015. That's what he's explaining. Now, let's go to the part of scripture that says, no man knows, and I believe it's Matthew 24, Matthew 24, uh, 36. I believe it's Matthew 24, 36. And it's even in Mark 13, 12. Do you see that? So let's go to Mark 13, 32. You can even look at Matthew 24, 36. So let's go to Matthew or Mark. I'm sorry. And uh, look at the KJV version because I don't read those other demonic Bibles. I only read the NKJV and the KJV and that's it. Excuse me. But of that day and that hour knows no man nor the angels who are in heaven. Neither the Son, but the Father. And then if you go over to Mark, it says, and 
it talks about they shall see this the oh oh mark mark uh what was I showing you? I was showing you Mark 13, 32. So if you go over to Matthew 24, 36, but of that day and hour knows no man, not the angels or not the angels of heaven. And again, Mark 32, but of that day and that hour knows no man, no human being, no angel who are in heaven, neither the son, not even Jesus Christ, but the father, even though we know Jesus Christ is God. Okay. That's telling you, ladies and gentlemen, human beings will not know the day of the rapture. Reminds me of that parable where if a thief goes into a house, is he going to tell the master of the house that he's going to steal? No, he's going to wait till the master's not home or until the master's sleeping. Okay, remember that parable in the Bible? So his false prophecy doesn't align with the word of God that clearly says the man, the human beings, the son... Of God and the angels do not know the day nor the hour the Father is coming that the rapture is going to happen. Nobody knows that. So if God says nobody knows that and he says that God told them, then somebody's lying here and it's not Jesus Christ. Okay? He's saying a spirit told them the hour. It obviously wasn't Jesus Christ because in the Bible, God says no man knows the day nor the hour. So if we test the spirits here, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't Jesus Christ that told them. It was Satan that told him. A divination spirit told him that the, the rapture is going to be in September 2015. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Proof that he's not listening or hearing the voice of Jesus Christ. He hears the voice of the devil. So I'm going to stop this video here and uh, remind you to test the spirits like I just did. Remind you to ask the Holy Spirit for discernment. And remind you to stop listening to false prophet demons like this. Because the only thing they're going to do is to cause you to fall off the path. He's beyond deliverance. I hate to say it, sisters and brothers, but he's beyond deliverance. You don't have to be in that position. He keeps coming up with false prophecy after false prophecy. He has a spirit of gluttony and he's got a spirit of Jezebel. A very powerful Jezebel spirit. Look at all these date sets he's got going back months, going back a year, going back at least two years. I mean, you can look at this channel and everything this guy talks about is the rapture. I mean, he is obsessed with the rapture. We need to be preaching the gospel, ladies and gentlemen. We need to be talking about the word of God to the lost in these last days. Okay? So... Who you listen to is your choice. I urge you to seek the Lord's counsel first before you listen to anybody. Pray on what I told you. But um, yes, another wolf in sheep's clothing has been exposed. Again.